everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another quick tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to put page numbers in Microsoft Word, specifically working with the 365 or 2019 version, but it'll work very similar in the previous versions. Specifically, we're going to be looking at how to add the page numbers, how to format the page numbers, how to remove a page number from the first page, and how to have the second page start as page number one. Stick around. So I got a sample document open here and you'll see I got some chapters set up which will make sense in a moment. What we want to do is go into insert over to page number and we got a few options here. So the first one is top of page which would be the header of the document. It would be on every page in the header section. And then you got the footer section over in the margins and the current position which if we go over here, we can choose what style we want and it would show in the current position. However, it only shows on that page. It doesn't show on other pages like over here on page two. So if I was to take that out and go over here and insert page number, current position, and it shows number two because we're on page two, but it does not show number one over here. I'm going to go and remove the page numbers and it doesn't remove that because it's the current position. So we'll manually delete that. We'll go into a typical format is top of page and maybe center position. There's lots of formats available here that you can choose from. So just pick one that you like and you'll see the header and footer open up on every page and it shows page one for page one and page two for page two and so on depending how many pages you have. Now that we have some headers set up we want to look at formatting them. So you would go back into insert page number and here is format page numbers. So here you've got the type of format and you can choose whatever format you have. So I may decide Roman numeral format which will make sense in a moment. And then we've got the include chapter number. And this is only available if you are using chapters, which I have set up. And it knows if the chapter starts with this type of style. So you can change the style depending on what style your headers are using. Then it will assign those as part of the page number. And you can change how you want the separator to look as well. So we'll hit OK and you can see here that I've got one colon Roman numeral one and then ro one colon Roman numeral two. So it actually shows the chapter number. So this is chapter one and on page two is chapter one as well, but Roman numeral two for page number two. So if we continue on down, you'll see here two for chapter two, Roman numeral three for page three, and of course Roman numeral four for page four and we're still in chapter two. I think you get the point. As part of formatting the page numbers, you can also see continuing from the previous section. So this is the default and it's going to just continue page one is one, two, three, and four, and so on. But you can say start at and you can change which number you want to start from. So because we have it set to use Roman numerals, then we will put that in there. We'll hit OK and you can see that page not, page 1 starts with 3 and page 2 starts with 4. So that's how that would work. Remove the page number from the first page. You want to go into insert header footer and you want to edit header footer. And then at the top here, you'll see a place to check off different first page. So we'll check that off. And then you'll see that page one no longer has a page associated with it. And page two does. And it'll continue on with the remaining pages, just removing it from the first page. Want the second page to start as page number one because now we told it not to include the page number on page one but page two starts as two. Numerals is a bit of a problem for some reason so I switched the page numbers back to numbers and so if we go to insert page number format page numbers we want to have it start from zero. 
So that way page 1 is actually 0, page 2 will be 1, and then page 3 will be 2, and so on. Important thing to remember is that if you're going to be inserting page numbers, you want to add that before any other elements, text, and so on into the headers and footers. Otherwise, it's going to overwrite that. So you may find out the hard way, but if you know this ahead of time, it will save you a lot of hassle, and then you can add your other material to the header and footer after the page numbers are created. For this tutorial, I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye for now.